What's going on guys, Jeff here for Mad Hatter's Reef and today we're going to be taking a look at the five must-haves for reef tank automation. Welcome back to Mad Hatter's Reef. If this is your first time being here, this is where I talk about everything reef tank related. So if you love reef tanks like I do, make sure you smash that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell so you can be updated every time that I upload a new video. Now in today's video, I wanted to take a look at the five must have items for reef tank automation. Now what I wanted to do with this list was take a look at reef tank automation, but not go into controllers or anything like that. I wanted to make a budget friendly reef tank automation list of products that is going to help all level of hobbyists. So let's take a look at the five must-have items for reef tank automation. All right guys so in today's video we're going to be talking about the five must-have items for reef tank automation. Now this isn't something that you need to go out and buy yourself a Apex or even a Hydros or E coral controller. This is stuff that you can do on a much smaller budget. Now, the reason that you may want to look at reef tank automation is it takes daily tasks of running a smaller reef aquarium or even a much larger loaded aquarium and makes those things much easier to get accomplished. Doesn't matter what is going on, it adds to the overall consistency of the system and a system that is consistent is going to be a successful one and your corals are going to thank you for it and the way that they're going to thank you is they're going to color up they're going to grow faster you're going to be able to frag them more often sell them off trade them and get more corals your fish are going to be healthy and your tank is going to be absolutely beautiful and during all of this once you have automation in place you can go ahead and take a much needed nap but again, don't forget that consistency is the key to success. Coming in at number five on the five must-have items for reef tank automation is the Auto Aqua Smart Security System. Now, this smart security system is broken up into three different components. One, it's going to focus on the water level. The next one is temperature and the last one being the controller of the skimmer. Now, each of these items are essentially plugs that utilize a temperature probe or photo eye to control whatever device is plugged into them. With the smart level security, if you plug a return pump into that device, if the water level exceeds or gets below the photo eye, it will actually shut that pump off. So you don't have to worry about any more water being pushed into that section of the aquarium. With the smart temp security, you get a temperature probe instead of a photo eye that is connected to an outlet. And that has the ability to control the heater of the aquarium, whether it gets too hot or it gets too cold. It will shut off in the event that it gets too hot and actually throw an audible alarm so you know that something is wrong and you can go to your aquarium and check it out. Lastly, the smart skimmer security is my absolute favorite out of the three. And what it does is it goes into the collection cup of the skimmer and it actually can shut off the skimmer in the event that the collection cup were to become full for one reason or another, whether it's just from lack of maintenance and the skimmer cup is full or there's some type of issue with the skimmer and it starts pushing a bunch of water through the system and that collection cup becomes full from salt water just getting pushed through the skimmer. Either way, it's going to shut it off and throw an alarm so you know that something is going on. As far as price point goes with the smart security system, it's relatively inexpensive, $150, or you can buy the different components individually, save some money if you don't feel like you need one or the other. In my opinion, all three are absolutely amazing and very useful and going to help add a level of redundancy to your reef tank and keep your reef tank safe. Coming in at number four on our five must-have reef tank automation devices is the dosing pump. Now, this one specifically is the Kamor, and this is a relatively new product to the market. And what it does is it actually can be accessed via Wi-Fi. Now, the importance of this is that the way in which it's built, it has an unbelievably strong stepper motor in this dosing pump, and you can access it via Wi-Fi, which is absolutely awesome. Now, some of the benefits of a dosing pump is it actually can help 
with reef tank automation in the sense that if you are dosing calcium, alkalinity, magnesium, or even live foods, what have you, there are a number of different uses for a dosing pump. Not to mention that if you have two that are running simultaneously, you can do automatic water changes, which is absolutely phenomenal. Could you imagine having a reef tank where you no longer have to do water changes, yet water changes are actually being done weekly, not even actually weekly, daily, every couple of hours, water's coming in, water's getting put in, and it's all happening without you needing to lift a finger. That's really going to increase your snack time. Just saying. I really think the Kimura is a great dosing pump. And if I was going to be doing a automatic water change setup, I probably would go with the Kimura. But if I'm dosing calcium, alkalinity, magnesium, I'm probably going to go with something that's similar to you see here with the JBJ and go that route as far as dosing pumps go. Ultimately, dosing pumps are the key to a stable reef tank, especially when you're talking about parameters such as calcium, alkalinity, magnesium. So if you have a reef tank that is loaded with corals and you are not effectively doing enough water changes to keep those calcium, magnesium, alkalinity levels stable, the use of a dosing pump is going to dramatically increase the stability of your reef tank and going to add to the success of it. So definitely check them out if you have a tank loaded with beautiful, fast-growing corals. Coming in at number three on our five must-have items for reef tank automation is the Eheim Auto Feeder. Now, there are a number of different auto feeders out there. In my opinion, the Eheim is the best. I definitely prefer that digital outread. And there's a number of different things that you can do with this auto feeder that you can't with other ones. Some of the older school ones are almost like an egg timer that runs 24 hours a day. So you're feeding your fish maybe twice a day. And much like you do with the Eheim digital feeder, uh, you select how much food is going to come out by moving the little lip on the bottom. And depending on how open you have that and when it turns around is how much food that comes out. The Eheim digital feeder is a little bit different in the aspect that you can set it up to do different times of the day at different days of the week. And it also can do one or two rotations per feeding, which if you have some larger fish like I do, having that ability to go around twice is going to add a little bit more food to the tank during those feedings so those bigger fish are going to get enough food and be happy. A auto feeder is a great thing to look into, especially if you travel a lot or you just want to increase the consistency of how often you are feeding your fish. Check it out, the Eheim Digital Fish Feeder. Coming in at number two on the five must-have items for reef tank automation, and I had a hard time putting this guy at number two, and that is the auto top off. Now this one specifically is the Tunzi Osmolator and it is absolutely hands down the best auto top off that money can buy. I've had one on the 220 gallon reef tank for uh, three ish years now, basically since the tank has been up and it has not failed me. Not even the pump has been replaced yet and it is absolutely bulletproof. Now the importance of an auto top off is that as you heat your aquarium, which most aquariums are being heated to about 78 degrees, there is a substantial amount of water evaporation in your reef tank. And as that happens, your water evaporates and your water becomes more and more salty. So that salinity increases in your tank. Not only does your salinity increase, all your parameters are kind of getting thrown out of whack at the same time. And essentially what's happening is everything that is in your salt water that can evaporate is getting condensed into a higher or more potent version of what it really should be because that water volume is leaving the tank. Now the use of an auto top off is incredibly important in having a successful reef tank because water will leave the tank so fast and it doesn't matter if it's summer or winter it's constantly happening you're constantly battling evaporation now a auto top off is an absolute godsend when it comes to taking on the war with evaporation and you don't have to necessarily go with the tunzi which has a pretty high price tag you can go with something that's a little bit more budget friendly such as the ice cap ato I absolutely love this ATO just as much as the Tunzi. I've used it on a number of different builds and actually have it currently on the water box. It has alarms. It has 
two photo eyes on it, which one is to measure if the water is not where it needs to be and one if it's gone too high. So it's kind of keeping it in check and it's pretty consistent. Now the difference between the ice cap, you have two photo eyes and you then you have the Tunzi, which has a manual float switch and an optical eye. So there's a little bit more redundancy built into the Tunzi and that's why it comes with a higher price point. But I've had just as much success with the ice cap as I have with the Tunzi, but I have had to replace a ice cap ATO where I have not yet to have to replace the Tunzi. And coming in at number one on the five must-have items for reef tank automation is a light timer. These are probably the most inexpensive item on this list, but yet probably one of the most important. And I got to say, I had a little bit of a internal struggle when I was comparing an auto top off to a light timer and what the relationship was between the two of them to a reef tank and as a reef tank hobbyist, how I felt when I finally got my hands on one of these and what it did for my reef tank. Now, with the auto top off, you're maintaining that salinity, which is incredibly important. But worst case scenario, you can lug water. It's not going to do a whole lot for your consistency and your salinity is probably going to go up and down along with other parameters. But a light timer controls the lights and if you control the lights you're going to have a lot more success with your corals the fish it's not so much a big deal with but if you start getting into the corals and you have lps and softies and even sps it's really important to make sure that you are controlling the photo period of your reef tank and even with cheap inexpensive light timers such as this one it's a digital readout is not like the bottom of the barrel but you are able to control when those lights turn on and turn off every single day of the week. A lot of lights that are on the market nowadays, you they connect to your phones and you're able to kind of you know mess with the times that they turn on or they turn off. But I had kind of forgotten about how important this was until I recently started the Pico Reef Tank, which doesn't have that ability. Yeah, you have the ability to mess with the spectrum a little bit, but as far as kicking on and kicking off, it doesn't have that ability built into it. So having a cheap and expensive light timer such as this one is going to dramatically increase the success and automation of your reef tank. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this one. I want to thank you for joining me. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified every time that I upload a new video. Now, if you want to take a look at any of the items that we mentioned in today's list, there's going to be links in the description below. So if you want to dive a little bit deeper into the rabbit hole, check out the links below for the products that we talked about in today's list. I want to thank you guys for joining me. I want to thank you for all the support, all the love, all the likes, and I will see you next week right here with a brand new video.